I'm Andy Parkin, Managing Director of the multi-award winning Speed Screed, and I'm here today to talk about floating screed thickness. So whenever we, we're talking about thickness, and generally we, we tend to be talking how uh, thin a screed can go, we, we have got to look and examine what the substrate is. And in this case, it is a floating construction. So when we're saying floating, uh, that means that it can be an acoustic insulation or it can be thermal insulation generally. So y if you're imagining the screed, it appears for all intents and purposes to be floating, sat on top of the, uh, of the insulation. The insulation may have a membrane over the top. It would always be recommended if it has a silver foil backing to the insulation, so we definitely recommend it uh, there for a, for a number of reasons. But in floating construction, we need to uh, just look at the different products that can go on top of insulation in that floating construction. So you've got a, a number of generic type products and then certain manufacturers within those uh, within those generics so if we if we start with the flowing screed so the the calcium sulfate flowing screed at 35 mil domestically and at 45 mil commercially that's the minimum depth uh, that they can go on onto uh, uh, insulation the maximum depth would be 80 mil that's what's recommended as a maximum depth for the calcium sulfate, that's 80 mil. You, you would tend to get a lot of bleed water at that depth, which can then lead for a weak and friable surface that needs to be uh, sanded down. So the next product that we've got is a sand and cement, but this is a, a modified sand and cement. So this is an admixture based uh, modified sand and cement that actually uh, gives you rapid strength. So if you're looking for a, something that you need to traffic early, you, you're looking to load and you don't want to damage the screed, you want to get uh, you know a high strength very quickly, this is a, a perfect product. And you can actually go down to 35 mil on top of, uh, on top of insulation. So that's a modified sand and cement. The, the maximum, well, th there isn't a maximum per se, providing that the screed is always well compact and it's compact in, in layers. But you would question the thickness of the screed in terms of why wouldn't you use a little bit more of the insulation in the floating construction. I mean, you, you need to, uh, depending what the loading is going to be, you might need to speak to the designer uh, to talk about uh, what the strength of the the insulation needs to be, what's the loading of the screed. So they might be factors that come into play, but generally you can uh, put some void forms in there, additional insulation. It may be that as a byproduct of that, you get uh, better thermal performance from the uh, from the project as well. So there, there are obvious benefits to doing it. Uh, sometimes there are cost savings, sometimes no immediate cost savings, but the longevity of the product will uh, offer long term cost savings uh, through the uh, increased thermal performance that you'll get. So that's 35 mil uh, sand and cement screed. And this is a modified uh, product again. So with, uh, say, hydraulic binders in there at 40 mil, you can actually get a fast drying product. So if you're looking for a fast drying product, then that might be uh, key for you. If you need to get your floor coverings on very quickly, 40 mil minimum on that. Again, no uh, specified maximum, but you'd always look at what you really need can I put void formers uh, in there? Uh, you know, that might be a, a way to go on that. A traditional sand and cement screed, so as defined by the British standard, uh, would be 65 mil for domestic, 75 mil for commercial. And so no upper limits apart from, you know, you'd look at the viability, you'd look at also drying times, the thicker the screed, the longer it's uh, going to take to dry. So that might be another another consideration. So I hope that's that's been of use. And if you have any further questions, please contact me and we'd only be too happy to answer any questions that you may have.
Thank you.